In this video, we'll discuss about the finding the last two digit in a given expression. Many of the times we've seen that the problems in the previous paper of the CAD examinations, this can be solved by the various methods. Here I'm in next 10 minutes, I'll te teach you the methods through which the problems can be solved within, within 10 seconds. Now the first thing is that what kind of problem we have seen in the CAD examination of the last two digits. Suppose many of times ask find the last two digit of the, this 37 list to part 64. It could be asked last two digit of the number 1241 list to part 16. It can be asked 133 list to part 128. This kind of problem in which we have two digits. Now here we learn the two concepts. By learning with these two concepts, you can, can easily calculate and easily solve this kind of problem. First thing here is the number which has unit digit 1. Number which has unit digit 1, it means any number like this is 31, which has a unit digit 1, if it has any power, let's say the power be 16. The answer here is obviously unit digit would be 1, and this the tenth digit is multiply 3 with the 6. Multiply here 3 with the 6. 3 6 is any right 8 here. So 31 raised to power 31 raised to power 16 is 81. Similarly, if you have the number 1241 raised to power 16, again, obviously unit digit is 1 and the second last digit, it says that here the second digit is 4, multiply the 4 with the 6, 4 6 are 24, last digit is 41. So in this way, we can calculate the last digit if the number is ending with 1. For, example, for more examples, let's say 61 raised to power 19, last digit is 1. Last digit is 1 and second last is 6 multiplied with 9. 6 9s are 54. 51 is the last digit for this number. Right? This is the first thing. Now, second thing important it is you know about the cyclicity of the numbers. So, here you say I am not discussing cyclicity. 62 square is what? Here I am dealing with the square numbers. 62 square is what? Last digit is 2 square is 44. 12 square. 12 square is 144, the last two digit is 44. Right? 88 square, last two digit is again 44. Now, what is going on here is the number 12 here is 12, last two digit is 44. We know that. If you remember the, the squares up to 20 or 25, we can calculate this the last digit of any square of the numbers. Here, the square of 12 is 44, last digit is 44. Now, this number is 50 plus 12. This number is 100 minus 12. So we see here is any number like the last two digit of x square is equivalent to last two digit of x square is similar to 50 minus x square or 50 plus x square 100 minus x square 100 plus x square or 150 minus x square 150 plus x square and so on like 1000 plus x square or you can say 3000 minus x square anything multiple of 50s and minus x and plus x square last two digit is same so we here we use that 62 means 50 plus 12 square therefore the last two digit be taken of the 12 here is 44 here is 88 square means 100 minus 12 square here is a 44 so this way the number can be right now, for example, 2008 square, last two digit is, last two digit here is, 2008 square means 2000 plus 8 square, 8 square is 64, last two digit there is 64, right? 33 square, 33 square is 15 my 50 minus 17 square, and 17 square last two digit is 89, right? Similarly, you can say, 89 square. 89 is 100 minus 11 square. Last two digit of 11 square is 21. 11 square is 121. Last two digit is 21. So in this way, we can solve the problem. Now, <coughs> remember the two things. First thing we have learned, anything which has last digit 1, we can calculate the last two, two digits. Here we have seen that the square of the numbers, 50 minus x, 50 plus x, or 100, 150, 2000, 3000, plus or minus x square has a last digit similar to the x square. So we can cal uh, calculate the last digit. Now, if we use both of this concept in the question, we can solve any problems. 
like 37 raised to power 64 and now what I can do here is 37 raised to power 64 we know that the number ending with the unit digit we can find the the answer for the problem to the any power up to two digits the first concept we have learned that any power to the one and say this end with the one three cyclicity of three is four now three raised to power four is 81 or we would say four or we can say four and three raised to power four n will end with the one then again seven raised to power four k will end with one and nine raised to power two n will end with the one so whenever you arrive the problem of uh, this seven one three seven nine we try to convert into the into the unit digit one and then calculate the answer so here 37 raised to power 4 we got 7 and 7 raised to power 4 and right that means split into 37 raised to power 4 and then 4 raised to power 16 that is 64 I have split it in this way just to make the unit digit as 1 here now 37 raised to power 4 can be written as 37 square into 37 square plus to power 16 right now here we use the second concept we have learned of the square 37 square means 50 50 minus 13 square and 13 square is 69 and 37 square is 69 here I can say 69 last two digits and here is 37 that is 50 minus 13 that is 69 I get the 69 into 69 is to power 16 now 69 into 69 here is 69 square to power 16. Now 69 square is what? 50 plus 19 square. 50 plus 19 square means square means here is 61 and rest to power 16. Right? Here we get 16 here. Now obviously it's ending with the 1. We use the first concept here. The unit digit is 1 and second last digit is 6 into 6 that is 36 again 61. The answer to, to the problem is 61 here. Now if you practice this thing can solve the problem within 10 seconds. 133 raised to power 128. 133 raised to power 128. And we are interested in the last two digits. Let's here one has no use. Let's say that's 33 raised to power 128. Right? Now this is 33 raised to power 128. Now we have to make it into the last one. And we know that this is 3. 3 raised to power 4 is and with the 1, right? Now I can say this is 33 raised to power 4 and raised to power 32. Why am I making the 4? Because you have to make here is 1. Now 33 raised to power 4 means 33 square into 33 square. Raised to power 32. Right? And now 33 square is what? 33 square means 50 minus 17 square. And that 17 square end with the 89. And this is 89 ending to the last digits. I am writing only the last two digits because I am interested in that, that quantity only. Now 89 into 89 is 89 square plus to power 32. Now 89 square is what? 100 minus 11 square and 11 square last two digit is 21. 21 plus to power 32. Now here I cut the human as a unit digit. The answer is 1 and multiply 2 with the 2 is 4. 41 is the answer to the given problems. Now I can solve it to the I can solve it verbally without putting the pen on the paper. The next thing important here is I have to say ask you the number xxyy is a perfect square. Find the number. xxyy is a perfect square. Find the number. The only number here the answer to the problem is 774. Think about it. I will give you the problem in the next video or if you comment I will give you the solution for that. This is the only perfect square of the form x, x, y, y. The important thing is 2 raised to power 10 raised to power even number and 2 raised to power 10 raised to power odd number. 2 raised to power 10 even number will end up with the last two digit as 76 and 2 raised to power 10 odd number will end with the last two digit 24. So remember this thing and you can solve the problem. We have solved the problem of 37 raised to power 64. How can you solve the problem if you have the problem like 37 raised to power 65? Now here the, you might be confused about it because we need the 7 raised to power 4 and 4 is not divisible by 65. What we have to do here is make it 37 into 37 raised to power 64 
Now this is 37 and this 37 is to power 64 can be split like 37 is to power 4 and is to power 16. We know how to solve this problem. We have solved this problem earlier also. We'll get the last result 61. Let's say this is 61 and multiply with 37 to get the last two digit here. Right? So this is the way to solve the problem. So I hope you can solve all kind of problem and get the values of the last two to two digits here. Thank you. Have a nice day.